Welcome to the setup guide for the PM1115UW print server. This print server can be installed using two distinct methods. Method 1, for a streamlined installation, you can follow the steps listed in the software installation guide available online. Please note that this method is only available for Windows. For a more advanced setup in Windows without using the software, or for installation in Mac OS, you can follow the steps in this video. Manually setting up the print server. Power the print server with the included power adapter. Connect an Ethernet cable to the RJ45 port on the print server and to the computer. Press the Windows key and R key at the same time, and that will open a window that says Run. Type Control Net Connections. Hit OK. Find your wired connection, right click, and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP v4, and hit Properties again. Set the network adapter on the computer to the setting shown on the screen. Access the web interface of the print server by entering the IP address in the address bar of a web browser. Log into the web interface with the default credentials if prompted. Once logged in, select the Setup tab, then the TCP IP sub-tab. Select Use the following TCP IP settings. Set IP address to an available IP address within the default range of your wireless network. If you don't have that information right away, follow these steps. Go back to the Run window using Windows plus R. Type in CMD and press Enter. That will open a command prompt. First, make sure you're connected to the correct wireless. Then type in ipconfig space forward slash all and press enter. It's going to list a lot of information here, but look for the wireless adapter. In this example, the IPv4 address is 192.168.43.81. That means .81 is unavailable. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and default router or gateway is 192.168.43.1. Now, find an available IP address on the network. For example, try to ping 192.168.43.200 Please note you'll need to use the IP information gathered from your own network. Generally, .200 will be the first IP to try. Ideally, this should fail across four pings, and if it does, that is going to be the IP address of the print server. You also need a second IP. When this ping completes, hit the up arrow. Change this to 201. Press Enter and see if it fails as well. If it does, use that IP address. If it doesn't, repeat the process until you find one that fails four times and record that as the second IP address. Set subnet mask to the subnet mask of your wireless network. Set default router to the IP address of your wireless router. Select Save and Restart at the bottom of the page, and allow the print server to reboot. If you wish to use the print server with a wired Ethernet connection, it can be connected to your switch or router now, and your computer's network adapter settings can be changed back to their original state. Change the IP address of your computer's network adapter to match the range of the IP address of the print server set in the earlier step. Change the subnet mask and default gateway to match those of the printer server from step 6.
access the web interface of the print server by entering the print server new IP address, set in step 6, in the address bar of a web browser. Log into the web interface with the default credentials from step 4 if prompted. Once logged in, select the Setup tab, then the Wireless sub-tab. Under the Basic Settings section, change the network type from Ad Hoc to Infrastructure. Scroll down to the Site Survey section and select your wireless router's SSID from the list using the radio buttons on the left of the page. If your wireless router's SSID doesn't show immediately, select the Refresh button and the list will refresh. Select Save and Restart at the bottom of the page. Allow the printer server to reboot. Refresh the browser page to connect to the web interface once again. Log into the web interface with the default credentials from Step 4 if prompted. Once logged in, select the Setup tab, then the Wireless sub-tab. Under the Basic Settings section, the SSID should now match the SSID of your wireless network. If it does not, return to Step 13. In the Advanced Settings section, select the correct authentication type for the wireless network. Most networks use WPA2 PSK, but this will vary depending on how the router is set up. If you're uncertain, go back to your network adapter, find your wireless, and go to Status. On the Status screen, click Wireless Properties, then Security. If you don't know your password, click Show Characters. Select the correct encryption type for your router. This likely will be the encryption type AES CCMP, but this will vary depending on how the router is set up. Enter the Wi-Fi password in the network security text box. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select Save and Restart. Allow the printer server to reboot. Once rebooted, Refresh the page and log back into the web server's web interface if prompted. Once logged in, select the Status tab, then the Wireless sub-tab. Your wireless network information should appear in the information displayed on the page. If it does not, return to Step 19. Disconnect the Ethernet cable and power supply from the print server. Position the print server near the printer. Connect the power supply to the print server. The Ethernet cable is no longer needed. Connect the printer's USB cable to the print server. Wireless setup is complete. Add the printer using the operating system specific steps. Setting up a printer in Windows. Navigate to the control panel screen and select the devices and printers icon. Click Add a printer at the top of the screen. On the Add a device screen, click The printer I want isn't listed. On the Add printer screen, select Add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name, then click the Next button. On the host name or IP address field, enter the IP address assigned to the print server, then click the Next button. Windows will detect the TCP IP port and move to the next screen automatically. Set the Device Type field to Custom, then click Settings. On the Configure Standard TCP IP Port Monitor screen, set the protocol to LPR. Under LPR Settings, enter LP1 into the Q Name field, then click OK. The Add Printer screen will appear. Click the Next button. Windows will attempt to automatically detect the printer driver. If Windows fails to detect the proper printer driver, select your printer's manufacturer and model from the Install the Printer Driver screen that appears. If your printer model doesn't appear in the list, select Windows Update – this update may take several minutes – to update the list of printer models. When the update is complete, Select for your printer's manufacturer and model from the Install the Printer Driver screen that appears. Windows will start to install the printer driver. Click the Finish button when the installation is complete. 
setting up a printer in macOS. From the System Preferences screen, click on the Printers and Scanners icon. The Printers and Scanners screen will appear. Click the plus icon on the left side of the screen. The Add screen will appear. If the printer appears on the default tab, select it and click the Add button. If the printer does not appear, select the IP tab at the top of the screen. Enter the IP address of the print server in the address field. Set the protocol to Line Printer Daemon LPD and the queue as LP1. The wizard should automatically attempt to detect the driver needed for the printer. When it has settled on one, click the Add button. Setup is now complete. Music